Hello everybody, I'm actor Shane Costa. I'm just doing a follow-up to a video that I did for actors um, about self-taping. Uh, this is what it should look like. I am using an external mic, but we'll go through this really quick again. Okay, so I have two fill lights on each side. I bought the kit for $90 off of Amazon and you could check those out. But I have uh, two lights on the side for fill. Um, diffusion is very important, so I'm going to talk about that briefly as well in case you can't afford the kits, and I'll show you how to do that um, pretty easy and cheap and effectively, okay? But the two fill lights, I also have one key light in front of me. I have it low enough to shine up underneath my neck, but high enough to knock all the uh, shadows down so you're not getting any shadows anywhere, okay? I also have an external mic. I like using external mics because it knocks out all the background noise. It sounds more clear, and that's why I mentioned that before. You can still use a camera light, or excuse me, a camera mic if uh, you're doing self-tape and you can't afford one. You're in a closed spot, and you're close enough to where it sounds clear, okay? But lighting and sound are very important, all right? When it comes to compression on your output, so you're actually sending your files um, at the highest quality with the lowest amount of space, I want to show you the compression with that as well. If you have editing software, if it's on your phone, you don't have to worry about it. It compresses it automatically anyhow. But if you're using editing software, you want to use 1080p. Your output settings should be at an H.264. And your bit rate should start at 10 and then end at no higher than 15. Okay. Um, I know I went through that pretty quick and I hope this helps. Have a great day. Love you guys.